right um, it's just to show the um, E8 200 brushless motor mode modification to make a brushless um, the speed controller is actually you might be able to see it from the back here it's on the bottom tray and out of the way way below the the big gear you can't see it from here but basically I'm gonna get this out this is the connector from the speed controller I've taken the red wire out because the receiver uh, doesn't need the the back the five volts that this usually feeds the receivers uh, with so to avoid any overheating on the speed controller and any problems I've removed the wire and it's just fastened back here uh, around some insulation tape so back on the throttle output there <clears throat> now although I've done this uh, I do get the surge uh, that most people are getting initially when you plug this in um, I didn't have the speed controller uh, connected uh, when I tested this initially what I did is I, I connected a servo to the throttle output and I could see that uh, on the, when the receiver boots up then you get a surge of practically 100% throttle to avoid that some people are using switches to cut off the power supply to the speed controller which is fine I've done it slightly different or quite different what I've done is that I, I interrupt the um, I'll put it here so you can see it better the red wire from the um, sorry the white wire from the speed controller um, is run through a switch here so I don't get the surge uh, of signal initially and, and uh, then once the receiver boots up then I turn this on this is a provisional switch it's, it's way too big but it's what I had to hand at the moment I will be fitting a small one here um, at a later, later stage I've already flown the helicopter um, a few minutes ago and I'm very happy it runs very smooth as most people are probably finding when you when you fit the motor <coughs> uh, you find that the the grub screw that the pinion has um, is um, on the path of the big gear for the for the main blades so you can't see it now but what I did is I, I made a three millimeter hole at the back of the pinion so it goes all the way in as far as far in as possible and then I put a couple of um, thin washers um, between the motor and the and the black uh, plastic here the tray to raise the motor a little bit so the clearance is all right the gear meshing is all right it's not too tight it's not too loose um, I'll be dealing with the tail and at some point I need to get on with other things today but um, we're gonna turn it on so I'm gonna turn on transmitter first and I'm gonna plug it open throttle close throttle wait till we get activity on the receiver and it's happy to go yeah you can feel the servers now so now we turn the signal onto the speed controller as you can hear the motor is now live and ready to go so let's give it a go I'm flying quite a small space here I hope the camera can pick it up all right
It flies very smooth and slightly less nice than with the brushed motor. The motor is not even a tiny little bit warm, that's all. Oh, the speed controller is 25 amps, by the way. So it's going to have an easy life, even though it's down there. It's got a good heat sink. It's a Turnergy 25 amps, Turnergy AE series, I think. Or E I E A A E, I think. <clears throat> Tomorrow, <clears throat> I'll be, uh, as soon as I get the programming card, I'll finish programming this speed controller. And um, I'm going to fly it a little bit more. I look forward to fly it out the horse as well. There you have it. Nice. Thanks for watching.